I recently got my hands on the Aventon Rombolos EMTB, and after spending some time with it, I've got a few thoughts. Straight off the bat, I'd give it a solid 3 out of 5 stars. It's a decent bike with some cool features, but there are definitely a few areas that need some work. First off, the good stuff. The mid-drive motor on this bike is pretty innovative for Aventon. It's designed to offer a more natural riding experience, and you can even tweak it through the Aventon app to get it just how you like it. This was a big plus for me because I like being able to adjust things depending on where I'm riding. Another thing I appreciated was how it doesn't suffer from pedal strikes like all of the other Aventon bikes. If you've ever been abruptly stopped by a rock or root catching your pedal, you know how great this feature is. The motor and battery combo on this bike is also solid. It can hit speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, and the range is up there, promising up to 80 miles on a single charge. That's plenty for a day's adventure, in my book. Now, onto the not-so-good parts. The seat is just not comfortable, especially if you're planning on longer rides. For a bike that's supposed to handle both tough trails and city streets, I was hoping for something a bit more forgiving on my backside. On my very first ride, I also got a flat, which was a bit of a downer. It made me question the quality of the tubes they're using. And speaking of tubes, there's a bit of confusion there. The manual mentioned Schrader valves, but the bike actually came with Presta valves. It's a small thing, but it can be annoying if you're not prepared for it. And if you're stuck with Presta, I think it'd be better if they used the kind where you can unscrew the cap to add sealant. Just makes life easier. 